Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler, and today I wanted to talk about the most important thing I've learned how to do in the past six months. Are you guys ready? I learned how to learn. Um, it sounds ridiculous, but it's a skill that I... I didn't even know you you could learn it, um, honestly. Like, throughout high school, um, I'm sure a lot of kids have the same thing, where you have good grades, um, you turn in all of your assignments, but it's almost just going through the motions. You're kind of doing it because you have to, rather than it being something that you want to do. And over the past six months studying for the Network Plus and now the CCNA, I've kind of figured out how to get myself to sit down in front of a book, study, be excited to learn all of these new things. And I wanted to make this video to help anybody that might just be starting their IT journey, or maybe you're, maybe you're way up in your IT journey and you're just kind of um, going through a slow season where you're not super mo motivated to study. So there's two things I want to cover. Um, starting off, it's kind of having a goal. Um, you guys know I love goals. I love plans. They're super fun. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to have a short-term goal, like six to six months to a year. And then I like to have like a long-term goal, like maybe five, 10 years down the road, right? And for me, my long-term goal is, this sounds ridiculous, but I'm a car person. I want to own a McLaren 650S, um, and I do that by farthering my career and really pushing myself to learn everything I can and study as hard as I can, um, and budget as well. I would love to make a video about budgeting and the more financial side of what I do, but that's like, that's like the long-term goal. Um, I don't want to say it's like just a dream because it's still attainable. Um, but it's certainly a ways away. And then the short-term goal I have, um, this kind of hovers in the like year, year and a half kind of timeline is I want to start moving into cybersecurity or cloud security or cloud engineering. I think all of those are super interesting. And in order to do those, I know that I need a strong foundation in networking because nearly everything in IT, there is a lot of networking involved. And I know by learning it, it's going to make studying things like cloud or security a lot easier for me, right? So those are the kind of the two goals I have going on right now. Um, that just kind of, I think about them a lot because it, it reminds me why I'm doing this. Why do I study in between jobs? The, um, you know, it's, why am I spending hundreds of dollars on exam vouchers? But that's one one part of it. Um, find a couple goals. I would say a shorter term one, and maybe a longer term one. And you can adjust the time frames. Like maybe you maybe you want to set goals for every month. Maybe you get through. Oh, uh, I don't know, 150 pages and 10 labs in a month um, for whatever certification, right? But moving on to the second. Um, I guess method that helped me learn how to learn slash study is it came from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Um, the Network Chuck actually made a video on this a long time ago and I listened to Atomic Habits and it is awesome. Like one of the things, I'm going to leave a link by the way in the description because like it's probably my favorite book I've, I've ever read. Um, but one of the things, one of the stories in there was, you know, I won't spoil it, but it's so good. Um, but after reading that book, um, it was like, I needed to turn, ha turn studying into a habit. And kind of how I did that is by just making sure I did something related to, at the time it was the Network Plus, obviously now it's the CCNA, but every single day. Um, doing something relating to that certification. It didn't have to be a lot. Maybe I read, maybe I read a couple pages, maybe I did a lab, but I remember when I first started the Network Plus, I was, man, it was so hard to get myself to sit down and just read the, 
read the Network Plus book, right? It just, it's something I just, I didn't have the, the skill, um, I guess the skill set to really, I guess, sit down and read for very long. Um, and so what I ended up doing to start building this habit is I would actually, like on days when I'd come home from work, I didn't feel like studying, you know, you're tired. I would pick up my book and I'm not even kidding. I would read two pages, not, not two pages front and back. No, like one page front and back. I would, I would read that and that's it. I would close the book after that. But at that point, it's not important how much content I'm getting through. It was all about building the habit. And I can say from experience, I've been doing this for the last six months. It is a lifesaver because after doing it for so long, the habit builds and it becomes second nature to pick up the book, pick up a lab, do whatever it is that you're studying for or working towards. And just do it, even if it's even if it's for three minutes, right? And lately, it's like in between jobs, I don't. There's no friction. There's not even a thought in my mind of oh, I should just play on my phone or browse Instagram instead of studying. It's like it's part of my day. Um, like when I get to Old Navy, it's like, all right, we got half an hour. It's it's study time, you know. And removing that, I guess, mental friction from it being a chore rather than just part of your day is absolutely huge. Um, I am probably gonna make more content focusing around that idea just because it's so, it's so special to me because it's just like, it's shocking that like, I got such good grades in high school, not such good, such good. I had a, I think 3.45 in high school, which it's not bad, but through all those four years, I could just pick it up, but not really do all that much on the side. Um, I think a lot of kids kind of have that issue. And then they graduate and go into the workforce and they don't know how you know, to study. And then not everyone. I know there's there's people that, that learn that very well in high school, but I know there's also people that don't. But yeah, I have, I'd love to make more videos on this. It's such a... It's, it's an important topic to me just because it's, uh, it's, it's been a difficult thing to overcome, but yeah, that's kind of all I, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos, make sure to leave a comment, um, any feedback, or if you want just some advice, leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer whatever questions you guys have, but yeah, have a good one. I'll see you later.